Yes, welcome to lecture 5, Poisonous Plants by Clark Alteric and Moussa Antist. Before we can continue with poisonous plants, we have to know the sources of toxins and poisons just within the farm. Within the farm, we shall see that various plants contain various toxins and they can be poisonous to our animals. Hence, we need to identify them and remove them. We have animals, animals are also sources of toxins. For example, you can see we have the apitoxin. Apitoxin is mainly the, is from the bee. Once the bee stings you, it gives you toxin which you call apitoxin. And the apitoxin is made up of various constituents like proteins and enzymes. Then peptides. We have bufagenin and bufotogenin, then bufotoxin. These, one, these two are mainly from the toads. The toad produce bufotoxin and the bufagenin. We have bacteria. Then bacteria produce various toxins. For example, we can look at Cosidium tentani, then Cosidium botulinum. Yeah, by this, because botulinum in the cause tenants. These are various toxins produced by the bacteria. We also have anthrax is also produced by the bacteria. The other source of toxins within the farm are the farm wastes. For example, the paints and then the used batteries. And these ones, they are major source of lead toxicity. We have the feeds. For example, hay. If you bail your hay, when it contains when it contains various toxic plants, for example, the trust ammonium, if it's dry and then you, you, you bail hay containing it, it can be toxic. And we have seen such cases in horses. We have water, water could also be a source of toxins and poisons. So once we know the sources of various toxins and poisons within the farm, then we can now go on to talk about the first major plant major source is the plants. Because well, plants produce various toxins and they constitute a lot of the toxicity and poisoning around the farm. Various plants are toxic and they contain various toxic plants. So we need to know the plant, then we must know the toxin within the plant, then the mode of action of the plant. One of the common plant that is toxic or poisonous within the farm is what we call the yellow oleander. Yellow oleander is just somehow it's an ornamental plant whereby it has yellow flowers. We have two, we have yellow oleander has yellow flowers, then this, this is what we call nerium oleander. Nerium oleander for it, it has red flowers. This yellow oleander is always planted because of its beauty around the, around the homesteads and it's surely poisonous both the, the leaves, flowers and then the seeds. Just 80 grams are enough to cause fatal or death. Yellow oleander is in the family called the Apocyanaceae, is the family of yellow oleander and it contains glycosides as the toxins. These glycosides include the lufocytes and the perufocytes. The mode of action of this yellow oleander is that it's a cardiac glycoside. What it does, it inhibits the sodium ions and potassium pump of the cardiac system of the heart. It inhibits that pump and in that, most sodium ions will be retained and potassium ions will be increased. This is actually a question we call bradycardia. Bradycardia, this is like the heart rate or the way the heart pumps will be slow. The clinical signs and symptoms once an animal eats yellow oleander, we shall see the slow rate, slow heart rate, which, which we have called bradycardia. Then we have the GIT distress, we have leather, leather is just about weakness, then seizures. You can see like the little dose within a pigeon just requires 3 grams for it to die. Then cats is 2.5. Humans in seeds, once you take 10 grams of the seed, then just know you will die. That's the little dose of yellow oleander, which we call botanicalus, Vivendia pervana. Then the other plant that looks like yellow oleander is nerium oleander. But for it, the, leaf, the, the, the flowers are always red in color. It's in the same family, Apocyanaceae, it's also a, a cardiac glycoside. The second common plant that is toxic or poisonous within the farm is thorny apple. It's called the Trust ammonium, and it's in the family of Swanaceae. And in this family of Swanaceae, it contains three toxins. We have one is called atropine, hyoscine, then hyoscyamine. This Atro this thorny apple is the same family like Atropa belladonna, which is Swanaceae, and it also contains the common toxins, which are alkaloids. This atropine, hyoscine, these are all alkaloids. The toxicity of thorny apple is mostly carnivorous than herbivorous. Like we see, cats are more, are more cats, dogs, for them, they will be highly affected. Less these herbivores like goats and sheep, 
and this is the order all the sequence. This is how the fruit or the plant of the trust ammonium looks like. It's surely poisonous. The clinical signs once an animal takes or eats tony apple, we shall see that is anorexia, depression, polyuria, and tachycardia. All, all the parts of the plant are toxic. The mode of action of this tony apple is that it inhibits acetylcholine. So the neurons will not be transmitted because it has inhibited the acetylcholine. We have the castor bean plant. This is also a common plant within the farm stead and it's from the family of Ophobiaceae. Ophobiaceae is the same family with that contains euphobia. So castor beans is in the same family with the euphobia. The common toxin that is present within the castor bean plant is what we call resin. And this resin is always in this resin one, then resin two. The species affected is that all species are affected. The mode of action is that it inhibits the synthesis. This is how the plant looks like for castor bean plant. Only three seeds are enough to kill a kid. Then as humans, only eight seeds, are, 15 seeds are enough to kill us. So you need to always be keen with the castor bean plant. These seeds, if they are taken, but they aren't ingested, then toxicity can't occur. But once the seeds are broken down, then the resin, which is the toxin, will be released. Castor bean plant, it is cytotoxic, meaning it affects the cells. Clinical cells include diarrhea, blood, then abdominal pain. Treatment is that we can use the anti resin serum. The other common plant that is toxic is the Strychnos mix vomica. It is in the family that we call Longaniase and it contains toxins which we call Strychnin. This Strychnin is what we use to kill these dogs. Once the dogs increase, the proportion of dogs increase, we also use Strychnin to kill them. Strychnin affects all species and those. The death of those, for example, in pigs is one mil per kg, in cats is two mg per kg, then in fowl like hen, it is five mg per kg, in dogs, it is 0.75 mg per kg, while in cattle it is 0.5 mg per kg. It is highly, truly toxic. That is the switch nose, which we always call nux vomica. It's in the family Ranganaceae. The clinical signs of switch nose vomica once an animal takes switch nose vomica will be the seeds. We shall see muscle tremor. These are, then we shall see seizures and then convulsions, then death. If you are treating, we also give supportive treatment. Then we can also use diazepam. The common plant that's around the farm is the black fan. Black fan is petridium aquinum. This is also toxic, whereby it contains the toxins thiaminase. The, toxi, the toxin is thiaminase, and this thiaminase what it does it causes deficiency of the vitamin B, which, always, which is known as thiamine. So, this black pan is common in non ruminants, but in ruminants like goats and sheep, it requires like chronic exposure, whereby these animals should at least eat this black pan for a long time, then they will always be affected. Treatment we always give a vitamin B1 supplement. The other toxic plant around the farm is sorghum, which we botanically we know it as sorghum vulgari. The toxin present within sorghum is nitrate, and this nitrate has to be converted into a nitrate. This is now in the mode of action. Then now the nitrate is now which is now toxic. This nitrate inhibits the release of oxygen, whereby the hemoglobin is converted into the methamoglobin. If you are treating, we have to give sodium, sul sul so sodium sil sulfate, then we can give sodium nitrate. This is how the plant looks like, and it's a common plant in Uganda and East Africa. The other common plant that is toxic within the farm is cassava. Botanically, we call it manhot esculeta. It's in the family of Ephobiaceae. Eph Everybody remember we talked about Ephobiaceae containing plants like Euphobia and castor bean plants. So cassava is also within the, that same family, Ephobiaceae. The toxin present within the cassava are cardiac glycosides, whereby we have hydrogen cyanide and then linamarin. What it does, the mode of action, the hydrogen cyanide has also to combine with hemoglobin, then it inhibits the release of oxygen. The signs are common, we have vomiting, headache, diarrhea, and other gray. It's like in, if it's we in humans. Then in animals, remember, ruminants, they don't vomit, but these other signs will be there.
The lethal dose is just 0 0.5 to 0 0.35 mg per kg. I've talked about the mode of action from the upper slide, but this is how the plant looks like. This cassava is contains these cyanides which are toxic. The other plant is sticky berry, which is commonly known as Lantana camara. It's not a native of Africa, and this plant, Lantana camara, if it's just around the farm, as animals take, especially cattle, they always be affected. It affects cattle, sheep, goat, and the guinea pig, then the camels. It contains toxins which you will call as lantadine A, lantadine B, and lantadine C. Once an animal takes, for example, like here, once an animal ingests, so the root of exposure would be ingestion. Once the animal ingests this lantana camara leaves, the lantadine A will now go to the liver and cause hepatic, hepatic effects, whereby the liver will be affected. When the liver is affected, we shall see some signs and symptoms will include jaundice. Jaundice is about yellowing of the tissues. Then we shall have photosensitization. This is a common sign that we always see in animals which have white patches. The photosensitization is just mainly because of the lantadine A. The mode of action is not yet clear for tick berry, but what we know is that lantadine A and lantadine B, they alter the membrane functioning. Yes, they inhibit or they impair, <coughs> they impair the sodium and potassium pump, the biliary cells. Only five grams per leaf are able to cause death, that we call as lethal. Treatment is that we use activated charcoal, then we have to treat the wounds. For example, like here, you can see on this animal. So we have to treat the skin or what we call secondary infections. The other common plant that is toxic within the farm is what we call tobacco. Tobacco is scientifically known as Nicotiana tobaccum. It's in the same family called Soanaceae. Soanaceae is, is a family where we have atropine <coughs> belladonna. The toxin within tobacco is nicotine and the whole plant is toxic. The mode of action is that it's an agonistic, whereby it works with the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors and it will cause paralysis. For example, you can see in ticks. In ticks, we can we can make paste of this plant. Then we can kill those ticks because to now disrupt with their acetylcholine receptors of the ticks. The other plant is a phobia. A phobia has many species, but a phobia is within the family called a phobiaceae. The toxin they include the phoboesters, and these are triterpenoids. The phobia causes skin irritation. For example, it has the latex. If you break like this part of the uh, phobia, then it gets into contact with your skin, there's an irritation. So it causes skin irritation. The mode of action is that it, it stimulates protein kinase. The other common plant is Phytolaca dodecandra, and the, the toxin present in Phytolaca alectins. The clinical signs include convulsions, death, then the stomach cramps, then diarrhea. The other common plant is rati, which is abras. Pecatoris, this is how the seeds look like. The seeds of this rat plant look nice. They are also red and black in color. But even chicken don't eat these seeds. The toxin is abrin, and this is highly toxic. It's also a cytotoxin, a cytotoxin that affects the cell. On postmortem, we shall always see the necrosis. This is like death of the cells. Then we have this is death of the tissues, necrosis. Then we have hemorrhages. Treatment of this variety, poisoning is just made by supporting. This is Grazia Dante. Thanks. Keep on following.